this crate was supposed to be delivered between the end of June, early July. Now I know Loot Crate filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, but if that's the case, why don't they just stop, at least temporarily, production on stuff like Slam Crate? They're not keeping up with the demand, and people are getting so fed up, like myself, that we're unsubscribing to this subscription box. I signed up for this box, this particular box right here, the, the June box, back in May, was promised it in June, told I wasn't supposed to get it till sometime this summer. Then it got delayed again till the end of September. Now, why would I want to stick around with a company that does that and when you complain to customer service they just give you like the most generic copy and paste we don't give a, a damn about what you think and then act all surprised that these customers are unsatisfied with our terrible answers and our bad service there was supposed to be a box out sometime between the end of last month and the beginning of this month and that was that summer splash box but lo and behold for what i found out from fellow subscribers of slam crate that the box is being delayed until october so you're not going to get a summer themed box until Halloween. Good job, guys. Which in turn also means that the October box, which is supposed to be SmackDown's 20th anniversary, is not going to be released around the time of SmackDown's 20th anniversary. So why not, to the people at Sam Crate slash Luke Crate, take a freaking break? And how do they repay us, the loyal subscribers, especially people like me who's been there since day one with absolutely nothing. Oh, oh, wait, wait. I heard some people got like a, a $5 credit or something. What could that do if the boxes are still being delayed for like three months at a time or so? For the money we pay, you would think they would do something to make it up to people like us to keep us on board. But no. And as you can see by this box, they lost the ability to care. But enough of my rant. Let's get into this box. And the theme of this box is NXT, although it originally was called Next. So maybe it's Next NXT or Next -y. As you can see that this is actually a loot gaming box. That I guess they just had lying around. And they turned the box inside out. And just slapped a Slam Crate sticker on it. That's how you can tell this company is quality. <clears throat> so let's open up the box and see if my final review slash unboxing goes out with a bang or a whimper. And the first item we have in this box is this. And spoiler alert, I already know everything that's in this box. I saw a video already prior to me getting this. And it's a Kyrie Sane, the sexy pirate princess. There's a WWE logo. It's supposed to be. The thing you put in the windshield of your car so the seat doesn't get hot and you don't get hot butt. Not something I was expecting from a Kyrie Saint item because she's a pirate princess and I don't think cars. The next item we have is this brand new Slam Stars figure. Now they're not doing those Slam Star figures that they've done since day one. They're doing something a little different. These are little busts, busts, easy for me to say, of superstars. And in this case, it's 
Tommaso Ciampa, the former NXT champion who is due back in NXT anytime now. Maybe it's tonight on NXT Live. Here's the side of the box. Uh, this side of the box. And here's the back of the box. And here is the bust of Tommaso Ciampa. I gotta say, this looks pretty damn good. I don't really collect things like this. But if I did, I would be more than pleased with this. See the little pedestal right here, WWE logo. Although, technically, should not say NXT. Tommaso Ciampa. The next sign we have is the shirt. And it's this really awesome Ember Moon shirt. And you could tell that it's either designed or inspired by Rob Schamberger. Got the moon in the back. There's Ember Howling with a couple wolves. There's some arrows and it says Ember Moon. This is definitely the highlight of this slam crate. And now for the pin, which looks like the, yep, yeah, NXT Women's Championship. And now the last thing we have is this poster of Ember Moon. Damn, look at those red eyes. I know their contacts. Ember Moon is so attractive. And I got to meet her. And here is the back of the poster, cardboard, pamphlet. The theme is NXT. Go on the road with the rising stars of NXT as they journey towards their ultimate goal, WWE Stardom. By WWE Stardom, they go to the main roster, they do nothing with them, they job them, and eventually they want out. Exclusive Kyrie Sane car shade, the NXT Women's Championship pin, Ember Moon shirt, and... Tommaso Ciampa collectible bust. And speaking of busts, this box was kind of a bust. But that is it for my review of this WWE Slam Crate, powered by Loot Crate, my final one ever. Tell me what you guys think. What was your favorite item from the box? What was your favorite crate from Slam Crate that I've unboxed on this channel? And will you miss me doing these Slam Crate reviews? I will, but I won't. Let me know in the comments below. But until the next review or unboxing I do that won't be a Slam Crate, I will see you soon. And unlike this box and this company, I look forward to more NXT. Bye-bye, Slam Crate.